Welcome, and here we go again. Now, it's been a while since I spoke to you um, last, uh, if you're a regular uh, watcher. Hi, nice to see you again. If not, um, thank you for joining uh, for the first time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I haven't been here for a while to do a proper, like, well, this sort of video. Um, obviously, I've had to delay this Modern Who series ranking. I mean, I haven't done a video like this for over a week. I mean, you can still catch up on the channel with my uh, Bournemouth Film and Comic Con uh, 2017 blog and um, we're talking about that. Uh, it's got some footage, it's got some exclusive talks and um, it's got um, some exclusive words from Wendy Padbury. So um, please go and um, please go and listen to that. Um, but, uh, first of all, we're here today to discuss Series 7, which is the 50th anniversary series, or the closest series to the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, and it took place in 2013. So we're going to be here today, and we're going to go over to the Who Meter in order to discuss it and rank it among the other, um, six or seven, whatever way you count it, series we've ranked. So, um... Let's discuss um, Series 7. I mean, it's not the most popular series, and I can see why. It's got some really great episodes in there. Asylum of the Daleks, Angels Take Manhattan, um, Crimson Horror, uh, Name the Doctor, and obviously the 50th anniversary ones. There's also some very um, meh episodes in there, like most series, or if not all series. And there's some awful crap episodes in there. Um, but uh, those include Rings of Akaten, not a big fan of dinosaurs on a spaceship, um, other meh sort of episodes uh, are Town Called Mercy, Power of Three, um, Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS, oh, and another awful one, Nightmare in Silver, which really is a nightmare. So... Um, it's, yeah, it's, um, an okay series, but it's definitely not one of the strongest I've ranked so far. Obviously, it's great to see Matt Smith back once again to, um, sort of, um, be the Doctor, obviously. And it's his last full series before he hands over to the wonderful Peter Capaldi. Um, so two great Doctors. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I won't dwell on the 50th anniversary too much, but obviously that was stunning. Uh, that was one, one of, um, I think probably my favourite episode of New Who, because it was absolutely brilliant. It was the perfect way to celebrate 50 years of my favourite TV show, and I'm hoping, um one of yours too if you're watching this video but yeah um it's um it it is a brilliant series of adventures um although there are some really bad episodes in there and it's definitely not the best and it's definitely not brilliant or perfect but it's all right um i think the best episode is well, discluding Day of the Doctor, I think I'm going to say Name the Doctor, but Angels Take Manhattan comes very close because I love both of those stories. Um, and obviously we get the shock of John Hurt appearing, uh, appearing sorry, um, in the, um, in the uh, Name the Doctor. And my least favourite story is The Rigs of Act 10. I hate that story because it's mostly singing and everything. And... Um, not a big fan of that, to be honest, in Doctor Who. Uh, let's go to the Who meter to see where it ranks among the other series. So this is the wonderful Who meter. Um, it's got some stuff on it. Um, and you can see in pink, hopefully you can see in pink, um, some uh, sort of um, other... Uh, series um, and the performances from it. So at the bottom so far is series six and series two is closely um, closely um, ahead um, and uh, the best is series one. So series seven um, I think because of those weak ones it's gonna go about here 
in the who meter, so ha. Huh. And um where do I rank Matt Smith? So he's probably the best in this series out of all of them because all doctors seem to improve as they go along. So I'm gonna put him all the way up at number eight in the who meter scale. Um I think Jen Coleman was quite good in this series. Didn't like her chemistry with Matt Smith as much as with Capaldi, but uh, still really good. So I'm going to go for just, just there. Um, is there anyone else of significance? Oh yes, Karen Gillan and Arthur Darvill in the first half of the series. Oh, I'm going to put Karen Gillan... Just below Jenna. And then Arthur Darville, just a couple of notches below Karen Gillan. So uh, this is where I would rank um, Series 7 of uh, New Who um, on the Who meter. So um, where would you rank Series 6 among the other series and what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What's your favourite episode? What's your least favourite episode? Please leave your comments uh, in the description, uh, in the comment section below. And also please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I'll be doing Series 8 next week with Capaldi. And then I'll be doing Series 9 and then I'll combine Series 10 with a little overview of Modern Who series ranking. So it's almost over this series. And I've got some details about Doctober. I need to share, so I'm going to reveal more about that um, pretty soon. Um, but uh, now, um, thank you for tuning in. Please make sure you check out that Bournemouth Women Comic Con video. It's a brilliant one. I'm with Dr. Cool on that one. And um, I'll be back again probably on Sunday for another video. Um, so please uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Same time, same space. Goodbye!